Hey guys, welcome back to Data Plays Colony Survival. So, this is episode 16, guys. So, last Bloomin' episode, we actually got a metric butt ton of work done. Now, I've continued doing a metric butt ton off, off cam. I've started putting the, the floor in. As you can see, there's still little bits and pieces that I still have to replace. Uh, the, I did the outside tower, another outside tower. Check this out. Check this out. So that tower's now done. That tower's now done. I started doing one of the back towers. I've started doing the side. Flaming galah. Been doing an absolutely metric butt ton. Now, if we come upstairs, remember last episode, we also did our very first corner tower room. How sexy does this look? Oh, flaming galah. This is freaking awesome. Um... So I've gone ahead and moved more beds in here. That's pretty much capacity of the beds now, I reckon, per room, which is quite a lot. Yep, all the guards are coming in now. Perfect, perfect. I've also started on the other side. Check it out. Yeah, I don't have enough wood to keep going, but I started doing the floor as well. I just got to do the stairway, and I'm probably going to redesign the stairway somewhat very, very soon indeed. But it's... it's Wow, I just, I'm blown away with how everything's starting to look, you know, a bit of patience and a bit of hard work, and Bob's your uncle, we're going to have an epic looking kingdom on our hands here. Now, um, last episode, we did do science, we did start, we started going into crossbows, which I have, it has completed, as I said, the crossbow research is completed. I'm going to go ahead and we get, I really want to start the Radius 2 banner here. What that's actually going to do is allow us to go into our tower defense mode. And I really want to get to that. So let's go ahead and make sure that is selected. That's 25. So that will increase it even further. That will increase it beyond the wall. And that's what we want to do. So I'll show you the grand plan. I'll, I'll discuss the grand plan once we get beyond the wall when it comes to spawning. So they cannot spawn inside the wall or in the wall at, at all. What we are going to use is the actual wall itself inside the wall here. We're going to use it as a giant maze of doom. What I mean is literally, well, we'll get some regular blocks out here. We'll get some regular blocks. What I mean is literally just doing a short presentation here. So literally what I mean is we're going to block one side off here and they're go it's going to force them to go literally when when it's it's going to force them to go all the way around i want to force them to literally go to every single tower before popping out here if you know what i mean so that that's going to be the idea and then we're going to have the guards standing in the walls and on top of the wall shooting at them as they go around the entire maze to get out successfully inside so that's the big big grand plan that we're thinking of doing like the as i said the big maze of doom uh it's pretty much tower defense at that stage that there's gonna obviously allow us to pretty much tackle loads and loads of enemies coming at coming at us in every direction so we will definitely not be deader than a dead dingo's donger there i think that's bloody flame and perfect now uh, all right, so we've got our next science training. We should upgrade our guards now. So, yes, finally. We actually have crossbows. Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got one of them there. We have one crossbow. Uh, unfortunately, what does require... I think our next research, guys, yeah, it requires a crossbow on every single one. What a bit of a pain in the bum there. But before we go ahead and lose all, what I want to do is go to our guys here. Um, command tool. Well, oh, no, remove. What I want to do is remove one guy from here. I want to remove one guy from here. And I want to place down... Oh, if we can, remove. Uh, well, uh, no. What the heck? What's going on? Why can't I... Okay. There we go. What I want to do is bring up the guard menu, and now we should have access to the crossbow, night and day. So the crossbow guy, he, so we started off with the sling, sling guy, which has a range of 12 blocks, uh, damage of 50 HP. Then we went to the bow, which does 100 HP damage, a range of 20 blocks, re reload speed of 5 seconds. Now the crossbow, check that out, 
300 HP per hit, has a range of 25 blocks, but a speed of 8 seconds. So that's a few seconds fast, uh, slower than the bow guy itself. But now, what I want to do is sort of swap him and swap him. So we're going to have two bowmen, and we're just missing a crossbow now. So hopefully we can get our guy to make a, make the, uh, a crossbow. That would be bloody fantastic. All right, hey guys, how's it going? Go on out there. Uh, we might be having a little bit of a trouble tonight because, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm working on the crossbow stuff. Uh, the, where are the crossbows, actually? What would the crossbows be under? It wouldn't be in here, would it? Crossbows is sort of a bit up, you know, up in the, the level there. So I think it would be downstairs. Hey, guys. Hey, miners. How's it going? I thought so. So the crossbow bolts here. And the crossbows themselves are literally in the the metal smith. So we're gonna have we're gonna tell them we want at least ten crossbows in storage at all times, and we want at least we're gonna say uh, five hundred bolts, I reckon, at all times. But that's actually re requiring um, iron. This stuff here. So just make sure that is selected on priority. Deprioritize some of the swords. I'm pretty sure deprioritize uh that okay so that should be well, we got we got double metal smiths anyway so that's good we've got double metal smiths the problem is is keeping up with the iron flow now which i'm pretty sure we are doing uh where's the raw stuff i don't even know what the raw stuff looks like oh by the way last episode i know i was a fruit loop there is firewood in here i just did not see it you guys were probably pointing it out like like oh my god there it is because I, I made more torches by the way okay so look we've got bolts anyway i don't is is like are they being used do we have do we have a bolt uh, a crossbow guy holy smokes Red guy! Red guy! No, he's coming in! Oh no! See what I mean? Flaming galah! Just takes a couple of those red ones and you're in big trouble! See what I mean? Wow! Yeah, so our tower defense is gonna is priority, getting that up and going is priority. Yeah, we do. We have a crossbow, cross bolt, or crossbow guy. Um, hopefully we'll have a crossbow guy over the other side too. Boop. All right, just keep an eye on that, because that could turn out to be a bit of a disaster, if you know what I mean. Okay, so that, I'm happy with all that, I'm happy with all that. Uh, bronze anvil, it needs some more of those, so we'll have to work on that. But, what I want to do is, what's this station called again? Flaming guy, the crafting limits, um, okay, so we want that. And that there is... What is that? Is this one? No. Flame and Galar. What am I looking for? Shop. Mint. Probably have some in stock somewhere. It will be... I'm sure it's here. I'm sure it's here. Flame... Workbench. There we go. Alright. Crafting. So, I need planks, copper nails, copper parts. You know why we're doing this now. We are doing this. Uh, well, where it went. Workbench. Uh, copper nails. There we go. And there we go. We can make some. Oh, that's a grindstone. You silly goose. Where, what are we doing? Workbench. Uh, copper parts and copper tools. Copper. Oops. Copper t parts. Where are you, copper parts? Flame and galah. Oh, copper tools. That's fine. That's fine. We can make tons of that stuff. Throw that in there. Look at this. Copper tools. Boom. There's 50. Bob's your uncle. And copper parts to boot. Okay. Copper parts. Done. Done and dusted. Oop, oop. Just keeping an eye on this. Now, the reason why I want to... Oh, flame and galah. We need to get that front door sorted out. We are definitely having a, a harder time taking these guys down. Flame and galah. All right. Yep, almost daytime, so I'm not too concerned just yet. Alright, so the reason why I want to do that, because I wanted to make a bunch of um, workbenches, okay? I want to make a few workbenches. Now, the reason why I want to do that, because I, remember, I want to start upgrading. I want to, to move on from this workbench here, um, and I want to have a workbench section. That's right. 
a workbench bench section. So to be honest, I'm probably going to put it over here along this wall here. Or should we have it there? No, we'll have it at the end there. Yeah, we'll have it there. So workbench, we'll probably leave that gap. Workbench, workbench, workbench. There. I have three work. Oh, crikey. Oh, no. So I'm going downstairs to just double check everything. I'm a little worried. Up, 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 yep, everybody to work. Okay, everyone's perfect. All right, so we'll hire a couple more guys. I'm being really careful when it comes to hiring on this game. Recruit, recruit. We'll recruit a few. We'll make it 60 there. We've finally got 60 because we're going to need them. So the reason why that I'm being very careful with food uh, recruiting right now, because I could recruit a lot. I've got a lot of food in stockpile. Is because last time we waste, we didn't waste all our food, but made all our food go down what actually happened what actually happened is it took so long to you know get my stockpile of food back up so i know for a fact that my food supplies is not tough enough to recruit a butt ton more guys so i'm gonna have four one two three four there we go i'm gonna go fire the guy downstairs now so we got four workbenches going how's it going sorry mate you're fired. Go upstairs and work upstairs. There we go. So I'm moving that, finally moving those guys up here. Where are you guys going? Did I just tick somebody off? Or oh, I think daytime. I thought it just went daytime. It did. Oh, we finally got our second bolt guy. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. You guys are resetting, are you? Yep, you're resetting. Okay, so now we got four workbench guys on this side. I'm happy with that. Now, that's going to keep up with production quite well. I think over this side, what I want to create is um, the bakery, probably. Because I have so much... Look, I have flour that needs to be turned into bread. And we need more of... Oh. Alright, so you're doing your thing. Okay, so, yeah. Thought so. So, we need more of the bloody... The, the freaking ovens, or whatever it's called. That'll be our next thing. What do you require? What's going on with you? Huh? What's what's your problem? Bronze anvil. Okay. Okay, so that'll be downstairs somewhere. You're not mate, you need copper tools. See what I mean? We need to uh, we need to upgrade how many people we got working on stuff. So we need more bakers. We're going to need more probably dig out a big space downstairs. See, these guys are just making arrows at the moment. I'll probably double that. I don't want them to make arrows. I want them to make, to make more freaking... Which they don't have iron rivets. Oh, crikey. And what are you two just standing around? Oh, you're the brick guys. Flame and Glad. I probably don't need two of yous. Sorry. There you go. You're fired. Sorry about that. Alright. So, what are you standing around? Oh, well. You guys can keep smelting if you want. Have 500 jobs at that. Let's keep uh, brick production up. Let's keep about, yeah, just give them jobs to do. I really don't want them standing around doing nothing at this stage. Okay, keep going, Data, keep going. See, this is going to be the tough bit, I reckon. Figuring out how much of what we need and, and going from there. So, the next thing is, uh, there, we need an oven, which is just stone bricks. Uh, which is just stone bricks. But dumb. There we go. How many ovens can I have, uh... Four, or, well, five will do. No problem. Now let's go over here and put in a bakery. So, one, two, three, four. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Ah, oh, that was my bad. That's probably why they're running away. Hang on. A couple of crates in here. Let's go ahead and stick in one right here and one right here. There we go. See, we're making double of everything now. Flame and galah. You're facing the wrong way. Mate, you just you gotta face this way. <laughs> oh crikey. Alright, so now we've got four freaking bakers ready to go. So that should employ a bit more people. And we'll go ahead and stick on a uh where the flame and galah did I just I thought I just made them all then. I just put those all those down. Oh screw it. I'll, I'll nick one of you. I'll nick one of these. Oink. And I'd come and I'll stick... There we go. Look, our food production should be going up now. We're really getting a move on. Look at this. Yep, bake that bread. Let's get that... Oh, we can just hire out the bloody Yazoo now. Um, 
Warped do you reckon grindstone? No. We don't probably need as many grindstones, but we'll probably get a couple. I reckon just two. Uh, two will do. Uh, where is it? That's not it. What is it? I need a picture of the bloody thing in here somewhere. Here we go. Turns, grows into flower. That's what we want. Planks and stone bricks. Planks and stone bricks. And we'll have a couple of those bad boys, please. I think I have some in my in my thing, but I keep forgetting to bloody check. All right, and then we'll come up the back here. Boom, boom. And that there, because we're, we're just... Actually, screw it. I'm going to put four of them down. Because we're just about to double our wheat production. So let's make sure we go ahead and we make sure we have that in stock. Like, you know, yeah, we have tons of it in stock. So let's go ahead and make sure we have four of them. That's right. The bakery is going to be fully equipped. Fully equipped bakery. That's right. Probably a little bit overkill. Recruit. There. All right, guys. Look at that. Ha 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 ha. Oh, yeah. That ba see, it was a good idea to put them at the end here. And these guys are pumping out. Oh, they're pumping out the wood I need. Yes. Because we only had one of the guys doing one job. Now we got four guys doing four different jobs. This is flaming perfect. And yep, straight to the end there. Our food is just going to be going through the roof, I reckon. Oh, see, now we're running out of things. That's good. I like when that happens. So that should use up, be making tons of our bread anyway. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and make... Uh, no, I need nails. I need nails. Nails, 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 nails. Oh, there we go. Nails. Couple of those bad boys. And I'll just finish this off here. Badomp. And finish this one off over here. Badomp. There we go. So we are really stepping up the game now. We are definitely... We are producing mass amounts of stuff. So that means the grindstone down here can go... Or the oven can go down here bye bye oven don't need you and you're the grind yep grinding stone guy bye and uh what are you you're the science guy okay we don't have a science section yet uh, i don't think we can research more than one science the sciencey stuff can we no but i'm happy so probably the next section that needs to be mass produced is probably what do you need a sword for the military yes of course so maybe not the clothes i don't know we'll, we'll do some we'll do some digging into that area there oh night time is hit we're gonna have a bunch of bad dudes coming how's the science going we've only got one literally one so what we may have to do now is go downstairs to our or this is our furnace area producing parts do we do we want to move these upstairs like should we move them upstairs to where the beds are you know closer to the beds like technically we got that section and technically even well well i'm gonna put a stair back there if we go even higher we're gonna have that section that section that section uh and then i gotta get rid of all these beds here so probably move them upstairs yeah no no they're traditionally in the basement they're traditionally in the basement screw that we'll have them in the basement so what i might do for this part here is we'll get the diggers out i reckon and dig a longer section down here i reckon to boot so how we're going to do that is what we'll do is cut out see how far we can take it back 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 well we're definitely not that deep are we we got we literally got freaking grass and dirt so take take it back quite a little bit of a distance here there we go and uh what we'll do is hire a uh well not a science menu recruit colonists oh whoops my bad yep whatever well whatever. whatever hang on there that's better and we want a construction and we want a, a dig area please and we want it to dig there all the way out i want you to dig all this all this boom locked and loaded flip that around and dig so there we go we got that guy's going to be digging out that job there um yeah no i can't do any more than that that's fine <sighs> let's go check the front door now whoo wee 
Ooh -wee. Unless I just come up with an idea. You know how we got the tower here? This tower bottom here. Why don't we have this connected to the mine shaft? Like, have our part underneath us and connect that to the mine shaft, and that could be like the the forge area. Ooh. See, that's got me an idea too. So, nah. Yes, no. Flame and galah. I, I don't know. I don't know. Something we can work on in the future. You guys keeping it up? I hope so. Do we have enough bolts? I don't know. Um, we got 74 bolts bolts under our thing but 300 damage a hit whoo boom oh all right crocky well i'm going to um dig these pots out downstairs so we can literally get some more uh forges and stuff going down here i reckon it's probably a good idea uh guys i'm gonna go ahead and call it now thanks for watching episode 16 of colony survival don't forget if you're enjoying this content make sure you smash the buttons give it a like uh, share it on your favorite so social media and make sure you leave a comment below even if it's a g'day how's it going that would be much appreciated i'll catch us all later <laughs>